It's time to actually finish this game. Because, oops, I didn't do it last time. Took too long. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Channel my inner toad's worth while I stretch, apparently. That's what happens. That's what happens when you stretch. You become toad's worth. It's just an inherent fact of existence that I'm surprised you don't know about already. Anyways... How are things doing over here? Well, everybody's healed up already. So I feel like I'm in a good position to just go forward. So let's do exactly that. Let's go forward. Just pick up right where we left off. Because delaying anything would make it weird for the YouTube VOD. <laughs> if I'm just like, let's wait for somebody to show up, and then I wait for like five minutes, doing pretty much nothing when I'm right here to do stuff, you know? Just would be kind of odd. I'll just see how Psychic does. Pretty decently. No double team help for you! Haha! -ha. Get wrecked. Yeah, well, let's just take care of this guy. Because it's quick and easy. I don't really have a whole, whole ton to say because I'm waiting for somebody to show up. <laughs> so in the meantime, I'm just existing. Playing the game. Doing thing. In the hopes that somebody sees things. That's all I can hope for. On this fascinating... What today is today? Thursday? It's Thursday. On this fascinating Thursday. At 2 p.m. I want this item, I gotta go this way. Revive! So this is all just classic tile sliding puzzles, huh? Fair enough. Zinc! You can do a lot of useful things with zinc. Uh-oh, this guy's about to have an accident. Why are you wasting your time... ...trying to fight me? Your problem would be solved if you just asked me the way out. I'm just gonna assume it's gonna quick attack again, yep. Just gonna get back as much health as I can. Since I haven't really been using Recover that much anyway, and it just saves a little bit of time. 
And now I've been very minorly hurt, so it all works out. Also, this guy's just really dumb because he could literally just, like, go on any arrow. He has all the time in the world to try every arrow. Maybe he has a problem with this room, but even then, like, again, it's all, in the end, just trial and error. I wonder what this item is. Let's find out. HP up. Neat. And use them on you, Hugh, because, like, I feel like you're the only one who could even probably take those. Because I haven't had them for long. <coughs> Hello. Let's fight. Hello, I am Bug. And you're dead. Level 70! Good job, Amy. is this person. Arbok. Hello. Figures that that's the first thing that pops up in my chat. Oh, you have a second Pokemon. Fascinating. Good thing that one shot. Here. 
Okay, so this is gonna be Cyrus. I don't remember what else he has other than he has a Weavile and a Crobat, I think. So I will... Just stick with Behem for now, I think. Who are you? You're not a member of Team Rainbow Rocket. My name is Cyrus. I'd like to ask you one question. Is this world a new world? I don't know. I can sense in you the strong desire to protect something. You have a powerful spirit that millions of the world is in the world. I desire to use the power of Pokemon to control time and space to create a perfect world where the human spirit does not exist. That was where a great shadow appeared and gold being brought me to this world. Is that a Pokemon X? I have a look. This is interesting. Even the world of Pokedex is the Rotom Dex was made to help trainers. Oh wait, that was not him. Whatever. His monotone is seeping into everybody else. Ellipses. I see you have the spirit as well, but it's too late. All too late. I cannot stop now. I must remove the weak and complete hearing spear from this world and bring it perfection. How foolish. I will not let anyone get in my way. I still don't like Cyrus that much, but whatever. Anyways, I'm also realizing that I have to suddenly use the bathroom. So this is a very weird point to BRB, but I will just BRB and maybe somebody will show up in the meantime. Who knows? Just in case... Somebody does show up, though. I'll say this in chat so that somebody showing up can read that and see why I'm BRBing when it's literally 10 minutes into the stream.
it appears as though during the bathroom break, no one even showed up. Which is weird, because I feel like usually at this point, somebody has shown up. Hmm. Alright, sorry, I was just checking stuff out. Oh, hello, Inari the Blue. You showed up right at the perfect time. I'm here to fight Cyrus, and I just got back from, as you can see, a bathroom break. So let's actually fight him now. Houndoom! You start with a Houndoom! This was not predicted. Um... This is probably a good choice for this fighting type, to fight the dark type. I don't think I'll take that much damage from a inevitable dark type move, yeah. Hell yeah! That is a fainted dog. Haunch crow. Okay, you've got a haunch crow. Well, okay, it's going to move before me. So using Sky Attack, do I have anything that's going to, like, be good on that? I guess Incinerator might not die from that? Because they're higher level and it wouldn't be super effective on them. But I don't have anything that would, like, resist it, I don't think. Well, if it crits, it really wasn't going to matter either way. Sorry, Incinerator. Alright, so, it's dark type, flying type, so first impression will be neutral damage, so I will just use it for priority. Okay. Crab it. Excellent, I miss. It missed. And I hit. And a crit. I'm just going to go for liquidation because it's regular effective. You might use a full restore as well. But this guarantees hits. And now I can use it again. And defeat the Crobat. Who still hasn't learned that Cyrus doesn't love him. Alright. Who's next? Wonder Room. Sounds too complicated, I won't bother. Alright, Weavile next. Yep, there we go. The two Pokemon I did remember are still on his team. I wasn't sure if they were going to be like Platinum exclusive or anything, but like... I don't know. Probably move faster than me, because it is very fast. But I can Leech Life and kill you. Alright. And now... Finally... Is his legendary, and because I'm playing Moon version, I believe that means Cyrus has Palkia. Whereas in Sun, he would have Dialga? Yep. Here we go, alright. Palkia is... Water Dragon, I think? So, I'm just going to Leech Life and hope it doesn't kill me. Okay, well, I'm out of here! <laughs> See ya! <laughs> Um, I like the theory that's been floated around that basically Cyrus, 
Um, there's a thing where it's like, uh, Cyrus is shown to be completely emotionless and not care about anything at all, period. Except for how, um, when do dealing with his followers, especially in Platinum version, uh, he's shown to understand emotion enough that he can, like, manipulate his followers and whatnot. So there's an idea that's been floated around about Cyrus having a crowbat, where he basically, um, what's the word, stock, not Stockholm Syndrome, but, like, gaslit? Like, he gaslit his Golbat into, like, into thinking that he was, it was loved. And thus it evolved into a Crobat. So, which, I, which is a theory that I do like, personally. Anyways, can I first impression? Yes. And that's a dead Palkia! God of space isn't isn't enough for a big bug. <laughs> Impressive, your prowess is notable, <laughs> and it makes me rich because I had an amulet coin. Why are you able to create such strong bonds with your Pokemon, or how are you able to turn those bonds into strength? Don't you get it? Ulti is kind of all Pokemon. I see. You need not worry, Rotom. I do not. I will not do anything to this world. I believe I shall return to the perfect world I created. Before that, take this key. You did activate the machine on the wall behind me. That should open the mirror door. And I met you sooner. Would things have been different for me? I do at least appreciate that Cyrus is, like, the, one of the only ones who's, like, somewhat reasonable here. Where he's like, I don't really know why I'm here. Let's just fight, I guess. And he's like, alright, I'm not gonna do anything. You can just go about your day. I just want to go back to my own place and do what I want. Which, in a weird way, is kind of like what he was trying to do in Gen 4. Like, he didn't care about anybody else. He just wanted to run away and go to his own world. So, it was mostly just the methods that he used to do that that made him evil, more than anything. Whatever. Still having fun here, Guzma? Ulti, look! The hidden door behind the mirror is unlocked. Now we can use the warp panel. Let's go. Uh, somebody's adding me on Discord. What's going on? Why? Oh, it's just a... At everyone. Aren't those always the most annoying? Alright, moving on. Maybe Force Fed is Crobot lost those Pokemon bites that raise their friendship. I mean, I did the same thing last stream for it was to get Sil Valley, so, like, I wouldn't necessarily... I, I can't, like, take the moral high ground in that regard. Hello! Well, now, what do we have here? I come out wondering what the commotion is, only to find the door to the center of ca the Castle Ajar, and intruders running wild. Seems those team leaders from other worlds are not nearly as useful as I had hoped. Who are you? Where's my mother? You haven't harmed her. Mother, you say? I see you're the daughter of the President. My name is Getsus. I am representing Team Plasma. I, too, was summoned from another world, much like the other leaders you've defeated. There is no need to worry. You will find the president up ahead, blissfully asleep and dreaming. Mother! Ah, uh, not so fast. Please get out of my way. Unfortunately, I cannot let you go beyond this point. You see, I've been thinking long and hard about the reason I've been sent to this world, and now I believe I finally have the answer. My purpose. It is to travel between the worlds, freeing all Pokémon from foolish people, and at the same time consolidate all the power in the world to myself. In order to achieve this beautiful ideal, however, I have need of a useful pawn, and that man, the leader of Team Rocket, is a man of pure evil. If I can make good use of him and set him up as a king, I shall be able to reign supreme above all existence! 
I have found that humans with their predictable ambitions are easier to use and control than a freak without a human heart. It wouldn't do at all to have you get in his way, especially when I must establish him as my king. Must you insist on interfering with my plans? Very well then, all obstacles to my ambitions must be removed. Couldn't resist bringing back the guest's voice one last time, if he comes back one last time. Based on the Gen 5 Part 1 version, I believe. Not, not Black 2, but just Black 1. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, Kofagrigus likes to set up, right? Let's try and prevent him from doing that. Okay, well, he did something. I'm a mummy now! Yep, oh, okay, goodbye. Bye, Sharp. Uh, let's do a brick break then. Damn, that. Whatever that Kofagrigus did is, like, really bad for incin Incinerator, huh? But hey, we get to listen to all these drums. Also, what a what a waste of a quick claw, huh? Oh, there we go. Okay, um... You're just normal type, right? So brick break again, I guess. Okay, that's gonna be a lot of brick breaks. Ow! Okay. Let's swap to you instead. It's pretty physically bulky, so I'm just going to use clanging scales. And see how that goes. Perfect. Hydrogen! Drat. Okay, well... Hmm... I can first impression it. But I want to do a little bit of damage first just to be on the safe side. I'm going to try and lower its attack as well. Which I probably shouldn't do because it's using Dragon Pulse anyway. Maybe I'll live this attack. Or it'll miss. Excellent. Okay, that works. Kick the dragon into oblivion. I was using apple pies to like set up for the first impression, but no, apple pie just took care of it herself. Wonderful. And the Kofagrigus is back out. Everybody's becoming a mummy.
Enough with the full restores already. Incinerator might be fast enough, so I'll give it a shot and see what happens. Perfect. And now I believe we get Zekrom? Reshiram, okay. I guess, yeah, because this is going to be... I'm playing Moon, so it's going to be based on Pokemon White. So it's going to be based on the one that he, N has, rather than the one that you get. So you would get Zekrom in White, but they would have Reshiram. Okay, that's kind of like a weird, like, flip-flop than expectations, but it makes sense. Uh, what the hell... What the hell is Reshiram? The uh, Electric Dragon? I think so. Well, maybe I'll get a Quick Claw. I did not get a Quick Claw, in fact. Okay, what the hell do I do now? <laughs> Toxic might be a good strategy. Fire Dragon? Right, yes, Zekrom is the electric one. What? Yes, correct. Indeed. That is in a, a true fact of, of everything. What a toxic. Okay, so I am faster than you, which is good to know. So I'll hit you with a dragon pulse before I die. Okay, I got a crit. And I survived! Doctor is uh, an impressive beast. An impressive ultra beast, in fact. I couldn't have been defeated by some random traitor from who knows where. What? I created Team Plasma with my own hands. I am absolutely perfect. I am perfection! I am the perfect ruler of a perfect new world! You lost, now please step aside. This cannot be possible. I will not accept this. And they try to insist that he slaps Lily across the face, but they can't be bothered to animate it, so they instead just cut away. <laughs> Classic a game freak. You don't get it, do you? I can't be defeated. I won't be. It cannot be allowed. You, tiny intruder, if you value this girl's life, you will throw aside all your Pokeballs at this moment. Multi, please don't listen to him. Shut your mouth. What's this? Your Pokeballs are shaking. Could it be that they're shaking with rage? No matter. Throw away all your Pokeballs right this instant. I refuse. Were you not listening or did you simply not understand? Well, you leave me no choice. This girl must. And then Colrest shows up. I see you're still dedicated to your own desires, Getsus. You! And he teleports around for some reason because that's just something he can do, apparently. It has been a while. Miss Lily, it's good to see you again. We ran to each other in the lab, perhaps you recall. Mr. Colrus. Miss Wick has sent you word that you may need my assistance. You'll have to forgive my rudeness, but I followed your trail using an invisibility device I recently invented. He can just turn invisible now because he's just that much of a scientist. Seems Getsus here has caused you quite some trouble. Although it appears this Getsus is, a different, is from a different world than the one I know. Of course, the Colrus of this world. But you should have no reason to meddle in my plans. Oh, please. I simply despise you, Getsus. That's enough reason for me. What's this? My body is being pulled. No! And bye-bye. Seems like repeated use is not a problem, even with the prototype. I should have known Colrest machine number 1102 would work. What'd you do to that man? I simply adjusted his dimensional channel, if you will, and sent him back to his original world, because that's just something he can do. He's smart enough to do it. Guess is a man with a power to match his ambition. He's not someone to be taken lightly. I can only hope that the taste of defeat will keep that Guess out of trouble in his world. 
But turning Aether Paradise back to its original form, with all the different worlds mixing together, that won't be easy, even for me. There's a tremendous amount of power, power of evil at the center of the castle. If we can remove that man's twisted desires, the coal rest machine should be able to revert everything back to normal. Team Rocket's boss! If we can do something about him, everything will be fixed. I would like to study this castle, so I'll leave the rest to you two. So, Colores has just been falling around invisibly, letting us take care of everything, but then deciding, oh, when you beat a boss, you can just warp him back to their world, and that's it. It's like, okay. Anyways, let's go. Mother! Well, well. I had been informed of the intruders, but not that they were kids like you. I had allowed the other bosses to do as they wished, hoping they would be of use, but it seems you have defeated all of them. I'm impressed you got here. So you, your team, Rainbow Rockets, indeed. Team Rockets' goal was to use all the Pokémon and control the world, but now I have a bigger, better organization. Team Rainbow Rocket. And I, Giovanni, am its leader. Mother, are you okay? Mother, please answer. President will not awaken for some time. I've used the power of that Ultra Beast to make her sleep. And when she awakens next, she will be a loyal servant to my will. What? How could you? Team Rainbow Rocket will conquer all worlds. We will build an army of Ultra Beasts. And for, for this precious dream to be realized, we need the technology of the Aether Foundation, the technology of other worlds. But I also appreciate the skill it took you to get this far. I like those who show strength. Why not put that strength to good use in my Team Rainbow Rocket? Sure, I'll say yes. Ha! You were calm enough to joke, I see. Having kids stand in front of me like this. Such a thing should never happen, but for some reason it also makes me feel nostalgic. If you insist on disrupting my plans, I will make you feel a world of pain. And he still doesn't have six Pokemon. Okay, let's fight Giovanni now. Dugtrio is very fast. I'm gonna see what happens if I try and set up. Okay. Well, there's a stealth rock now. But I have a calm mind. You got a Bug-type move. Okay. Well... It was a noble attempt. Alright, you've got a... Uh... Defense boost. I'm gonna try and drop kick anyway. Still killed you. Okay. Rhyperior down. Nido Queen is next. I unfortunately don't have my Psychic type out now. It's probably gonna use a Poison type move though. Incinerator just takes a million things of damage when he comes out. All right. Go fast. Did not go fast enough. Rest in peace, Quick Claw. All 
Uh, I don't really want to chance setting up, so I'm just going to go for a Dragon Pulse. Damn Sandstorm. Can I afford a Dragon Dance? I'll see. i try it again. It's not using that much with Sludge Wave. So I think this is a good strategy. I'll do one more Dragon Dance. I think I'm just going to do a Dragon Claw just in case it doesn't kill, because if I lower my defense, Sludge Wave is going to kill me, I think. This is pretty much the last major battle anyway, so if I use my max potions, then that's fine. I'm going to Dragon Dance again, while I have the opportunity. And again, while I have the opportunity. I'm pretty topped off now. So whatever I do should be able to murder. I think I'm... Oh, used Surf. Well, you know what? If you're using Surf now, I'm just gonna Dragon Dance again! And get completely topped off in every possible way I can. I will murder you with a dragon! Clang Clang! I will be surprised if I don't win now. You're not babies. And you never will be. Get out of my sight. And you're to level 72. Spelled the poison. <laughs> and now your last Pokemon is a Mewtwo. And Dragon Claw. Oh, you become Mega Mewtwo Y for some reason. Alright. Goodbye. Goodbye. 
And that's the power of dance! And potions. That was truly an intense fight. Give me all your money that you earned from being a Mafia boss. I see you raised a Pokemon with utmost care. It'd be foolish to fight a, such a kid with all of my might. Very well, I'll leave Aether Paradise in your hands. But remember, my team Rainbow Rocket will never fail. Never forget that. Even though I just failed and decided, you know what, I'm not gonna... ...continue fighting. Instead, he's just gonna go to, like, the mobile game and... ...that I don't think anybody really plays, but maybe I'm wrong. Pokemon Master Sex. I shall step aside this time. I hope we meet again. And then we never met again. The castle, it's gone. The Colorist machine has been activated and restored the mansion to its original form, which means you've done it. You defeated Team Rocket. It took you long enough. For a trainer such as you who can bring out Pokemon's power through your bonds, it must have been easy. The defeat of Team Rocket's boss seems to send everyone who come with him back to their own worlds. As for me, I've decided the next team of my research. Well then, I hope to see you again sometime. Colores is strange. Splat. Save the day once again. We're truly grateful. And there's Faba. Who's just there. Where are you, Faba? Are you unhurt? Faba tried trying to weasel his way out of everything. He says he's sorry. And runs away. And everyone's just like, Haha, you nearly killed everybody, but... There's just Faba! Ha ha ha. Mr. Faba. He's been demoted to an intern. And, you know, instead of fucking arrested or something. You know, Looker was in the other game. I don't like him, but at the very least, he is like a policeman. Policemen exist in this world. You could arrest the guy who tried to, like, stage a coup in his own com company. Lily wants to do her own island challenge. Yay, she doesn't go to Kanto in this game. That's the end of Lily. And Giovanni's just here for some reason. That girl had some talent. Now, what new world shall I unleash my evil schemes upon? The schemes of mobile phone games and microtransactions. And that's the end of Team Rainbow Rocket. God damn it, it's stupid. <laughs> Replaying it, it's like... The idea of the fan service element of it, I will admit, is neat. It's neat to have the characters come back. The problem is that it doesn't do anything new with any of the characters. It's just like a, ooh, what if they didn't... What if the guys won, but like, it's like, but then like, you don't see like the consequences of anything that they do. They're just here, and they say, oh, we won because there wasn't a protagonist, and then you just fight them, and then they lose, and it's like, oh, and then they're gone, and it's like, nothing interesting or new gets done with the characters. If you're gonna bring back a character, you need to do something interesting with them that's different, and nothing different happens to any of the other old team members in this. They just are there to be fought and to be fan service. But it's very cheap fan service. Especially in the fact that Team Rocket is used as the main 
grouping? Because here's the thing about Team Rocket. Team Rocket was very mundane. They just wanted money. They just... They were basically a regular organized co crime boss. Giovanni. I, I recognize that it's like an alternate universe Giovanni, whatever. But like, still. Like, he's not like some min maniacal evil genius. He's, he's not the kind of person who's going to be like, Ooh, what e person am I going to be able to unleash my evil schemes upon? Like, he's just a guy who is the leader of a mob boss. Is the leader of, a mo of, of the mob, essentially. He's an organized crime leader. Yeah, he's a bad guy, but he's not, like, mustache-twirling, like, dimension-hopping evil. And Team Rocket themselves would not be the main evil threat in this whole group. If, realistically, if it was gonna be anybody, arguably Lysander is the m most fitting to be the the leader of a group like this. I may not like Lysander, but he is the most fitting, like, genuinely, like, leader-type person who would care enough about, like, uniting worlds, because his whole thing is, like, he wants to end the world of imperfections and whatnot. So, him going to other worlds to find perfection from other worlds that he can merge together would actually relatively make more sense for him because the thing about Giovanni, he wants money. He's a crime boss. He wants money. There's not... And realistically, there's not even any telling that, like, he can go to other worlds that are going to have money that works like that. And if he were going to go to other worlds and make sure that they were other worlds the thing, he would probably just, like, take money from them so that he could just be rich. <laughs> That's his goal. And so, like, it feels like Team Rainbow Rocket fundamentally misunderstands Giovanni as a character. And what Team Rocket is supposed to be doing. <laughs> so it just kind of completely falls flat on its face. But whatever, that's the end of the post game. So, aside from catching regular older beasts, there's nothing really else for me to do. Aside from, however, uh. Aside from, catch stuff. So now, I am going to be catching stuff. Because I've got a giant list of Pokemon that I do not have currently. Quite a big list of Pokemon, in fact, that I do not currently have. In my uh, Pokemon home living decks. So, for the rest of this stream, I've been live for an hour... So for the rest of this stream, everything I'm going to be doing is just going to be catching Pokemon. So, that's where the nickname thing comes in when I made a tweet about it. So, Inari, if you, for as long as you stick around and for as long as nobody else shows up in chat to come up with nicknames, you'll be the only person who gets to nickname stuff. So, congratulations. <laughs> But yeah, I'm just, I've just got a giant list, and I'm just going to go through as much as I can. I'm going to mostly focus on the Gen 7 Pokemon that I'm missing, but I'll try and get pretty much everything I can on the list until I get tired and decide to stop the stream. And it is as simple as that. There's not really much of a set plan otherwise, it's just, this is how I'm going to elongate the rest of the stream. So anyways, this is here as soon as you clear, like, the main thing. This is apparently where you get Lunala in this game. Nebby, you came here from very far away. Glad you could take you with me I got that we got to experience that journey together. I know this may be sudden, but I hope you will consider what I ask you. I want to entrust Nebby to you. I, should, I think ne Nebby should be with Necrozma. Necrozma would not suffer as much or ache so much for the light if it can remain close to Nebby. So, this is how we get the legendary Pokemon in this game. It's just here. Um. Oh, I'm almost dead. Eh, you know what? I'm just gonna chuck a Master Ball at this thing. I don't think there's anything else I need. Is there anything else I need the Master Ball for? Eh. Uh, 
I'll see how it goes without using the Master Ball at first. I'm not going to be going for the Tapus or anything, because I already got those in Moon. The only reason why I'm going for Lunala here is because there is, in fact, something that I need Lunala for. Mahina! Lunala appeared. Alright. I'm gonna start with a Toxic. I'm gonna hit it with a Sludge Bomb. Now I'm going to chuck a ball at it. And I will continue chucking balls until I catch it. And that did not take long at all. Perfect. Now I got Lunala. One of several Lunalas I have. But the only one in this game that I have right now. Alright. I named the one from the other one Mahina, so I'll name this one Pia. That'll just be a quick thing. Okay. Please collect the Pokeball. Lunala, no, Nebby, you belong with Ulti now. I will be your mother. I will give birth to you. Okay. So. Um, next order of business. I need... Right. First off, I'm bolding each of the things that I get. So Lunala has been caught. Uh, this is actually not where I want to go first. Well, actually, it's it's good enough. There's several things that I need to, like, do. So, like, I didn't write them down in, like, a specifically efficient order. I just wrote them down. Alright, so I do need... Uh... Both of them? Hello, tents on fire. Fortunately, we don't have a Meowth, but that, that was already taken care of. Uh, how do we merge them together? Okay, they're mo merged together now. Sure. Alright. They've been merged together. Which was what I needed. I needed the merged one. And...
Okay. So now that I have the merged one... Uh, also, I got a false swipe TM, right? Yes. I guess I'll be teaching that to Wind Chime. Um, do I have a Dragon Claw TM? I do, okay. That means I am totally safe to replace Dragon Claw on Wind Chime. Because I'm going to be catching lots of things. I need something that makes it easier to catch. Simple as that. Anyways, how you doing, Tents? I think this... Well, obviously, this is the first time you show up. You got a 1 next to your first message. So, welcome to the stream. Okay. Now that we're here, I need to fly to the top of the, t of the thing. And when I have this... Um, I don't want to go riding. That's not the point of this. But I might need to click that portal anyway to get Necrozma to do the thing that it needs to. Uh, let me double check how this works. One second. Um, right. Game locations. List of in-game event Pokemon. Oh, huh. This is complicated. Apparently, it's time-based as well, based on which one you version you have. Though, thanks to Bliss Man, I do have a Solgaleo I can fuse instead. So that should work as a result. So, okay. done that I'll fly back and it should work because it's nighttime so if I use yeah there we go go to the reverse world So now I'm in Altar of the Sun. So now I need to fly to Island 3. Route 16.
good news is I also already have uh, Cosmog with me. So now I just need to go over this way. Use a repel real quick to help me progress. I don't really want to fight random things, and I go over this way. Lake of the Moon. Oh, hey, an item. Psyshock! Would that have... Is that the one that's, like, really weird? Psychic's probably stronger than that anyway. Physical damage, whatever. Doesn't matter. So if we come all the way this way... Just like in Original Moon... here and with Lunala in the party. Mahina Pia! And Sogaleo shows up. We don't know how because it's currently fused to Necrozma, but it shows up and then they have a baby. It's Cosmog. I still don't remember if we fight it or not. I don't think so. Yes. Alright. So, either Tensor or Nari or anyone else is here. What do we want to name Cosmog? Because we're going to need to t turn this thing into a Cosmo M. In the meantime, while I wait for nicknames, somebody's adding me on Discord. It is another ad, everybody. <laughs> okay. It doesn't have to be a serious or well-thought-out nickname, for the record. We've literally had Pokemon name things like Babies, Microwave, um... Alto with copious amounts of exclamation points. Nutbread. Mallow, sure. It's an adopted frog. Okay. So, level 43 is what I need to get this thing to. Solganium Z. Alright. So now that that's done, I'm gonna warp back, simply because it's just... For, for the time being, I would prefer to be in the regular world. But I've got the Cosmog now. Which is good. So, it's gonna stay in my thing. Next on the list of efficiency... Uh... 
Um, which which island has Route Nine in it? Route Twelve, Route Ten, Route Seventeen, Route Eleven. All right, this island then. Route Nine. Okay, so. So, there's apparently an event here. That happens. It's not for a Pokemon that I don't have, but it's for a Pokemon that will immensely help. It's a Ditto! There's just a free Ditto here. Disguised as a human person. Now it looks like me. Ultra Ball, go! Alright. Give me a name for Ditto now. Because there's a lot of things that we're going to need eggs for. So it is important. To get a ditto. As soon as possible, pretty much. Boo. Sure. Boo. I'm gonna need to add it to my party, and I'll swap out Lunala, sure. This goes. Ditto is disguised as my partner. Hi, he had a cold. We get a lot of money. Alright, well, either way, there's somebody in Kony Kony City. I'm not going to do the rest of the side quests. It's just a ditto side quest. I've got plenty. Alright, so now, what I need to do is figure out where... Um... I need to figure out where the daycare is. Uh, so, let's go fly around to the daycare, wherever it is. Uh, not there. Not there. Not there. Pokemon Nursery? Probably. Yeah, something's happening. Okay, you're giving me a bottle cap. Thank you. Is it past the ranch or... 
I think that's it over there on the top right. Maybe. On the map. Up here. Yes, here we go. So who's on my party right now? Yes, perfect. Alright. So one Pokemon we need for sure. An egg here at the nursery? Okay, a free egg. I don't know what this egg's gonna be, but... I'll take it, I guess. Pokemon hatched from eggs faster now. Okay, thanks. Alright. Take Boo. And the other is Apple Pie. Because we need a bound suite. And the only way to get one is to get an egg. Uh, actually, I should put other Pokemon in my party now while I wait. So, who else do I need? Okay, I've already got a Cutie Fly. That's good. I can cross that one off my checklist. Got a Kamala as well. Alolan Muck is someone I need, correct? Yes, I need you to be level 38. So, I'll put you in my party. I've already got a Bulldore, that's good. I've already got a Heracross, okay. Alright. So. Uh, with all that said and done. The next thing I need <laughs> They don't like each other. <laughs> Alright. Can I fly here directly? Probably if I just fly to the ranch. I'll worry about that later. Okay. So. I'll come back in a moment. But first and foremost... Do I have a repel on? I think I have a repel on. I need, next, is I'm going to need to get an Alolan Raichu. The only way to get that in this game is to get a Pikachu either from an SOS battle against a Pichu or just getting a Pichu. So, I need to find a Pichu, and then I'll either try to SOS battle, get a thing. Or I'll just get the Pichu and then raise its friendship enough.
Which, after Sil Valley, shouldn't be the hardest thing in the world. But it's just a matter of finding the Pichu. In the meantime, since you know I'm looking for a Pichu slash Pikachu slash Raichu, you can try and come up with a name for that. <laughs> if you would like. Keep in mind that we also don't know what gender it's going to be. So either come up with two names or a gen or one that could be workable for either. In the meantime, I'm just going to keep hoping for a damn Pichu, because apparently I'm not getting one. I think it's not the most likely thing. I think it's like maybe 10%. I don't remember the exact percentages. I looked up like... I have like 40 Pokemon on my list to get. <laughs> So I've got a lot of options. <clears throat> and all I'm getting are goddamn Wingles. While all this is going on, I'm just going to double check Route 1. It's a 5% encounter. Lovely. Oh, I'm in the wrong part of the grass. Okay. Apparently this counts as Howley Outskirts and not actually Route 1. Actual Pichu are found over here. Alright, now it's a 5% chance. Good thing I double checked. Peach, 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 peach. The only other way I would be able to get a Pikachu... I'm pretty certain I looked it up. Let me look up Pichu specifically, just to make sure that there's not another better place to get Pichu. Game locations for Pichu. 
Nope, it's just Route 1. Okay, so this is the only place you get Pichu in this entire game. What about Pikachu, though? Because there is a gift Pikachu. However, it's you only get it for doing the... Okay, so you can get a partner cat Pikachu from Pikachu Valley, but I don't think that can evolve or be bred. There's a gift event for doing the Mantine Surfing, number one on every course, which, yeah, I'm not doing that. And then the only other one is Route 1. So this is the only way I can get a Pichu, so I have to do this if I want a Lolan Raichu. Lovely. Alright, well, good thing I'm getting it done a little bit first, I guess. Just gotta wait for a Pichu, and I think at this point, I would probably just rather catch a Pichu and then, like, friendship evolve it, rather than, like, trying to SOS battle a Pikachu, because that'll just take even longer. <laughs> I don't really want to deal with that. Baneary! I feel like the good news is... There's not gonna be a whole ton of Pokémon that are like this, this difficult to catch or find, I don't think. Arguably, the only other worse one might be getting another Jangmo. But, in a worst case scenario, I can also breed more of those. And I will probably at least breed one. Or whatever it is, the small one of Windchime. Hi, little Kirby! Welcome to the stream! I beat up Giovanni and now I'm trying to find a Pichu. You'll never guess which one is harder. Uh, to reiterate for little Kirby who just showed up, currently the entire plan is stream it for as long as I rem as I want to now, and just try to catch as many Pokemon on my giant list of like 40 Pokemon I'm missing from my living decks. And one of those is a Lolan Raichu, so that's what we're trying to get right now. And the only way to do so... Feel free to say it right now, by the way, Inari. If you'd like. There's, there's no... There's no reason to wait until I get it. <laughs> Especially because it could be a while. Based on the fact that this 5% chance is not showing up. And I don't know if there's a way I can, like, increase my odds. I know there's, like... There's, like, Pokemon with the Magnet Pole ability. I think that, like, increases the rate of Steel Encounters, maybe? But I don't... A, I don't even know if that ex there's a Pokemon that exists that way in this game. And B... Eh. You had a strange thing happen while moving Pokemon to Pokemon Bank. Did you get a bad egg? Radchu! <laughs> you irradiated the Pichu. That's why its eyes are blue. It's, it's not an Alolan form, it's just filled with radiation.
Well, we'll get Rad Chew eventually. And this is why I don't shiny hunt things, because I get tired running around back and forth trying to find a thing and it relying on luck. Here we are! We would- I knew we'd find it eventually. And it'll be a girl pe- It'll be a gir girl rad chew. I'm just gonna chuck a great ball at it. It's level three. Okay. Oh no, you did one damage. Because, like, in my head, Pichu is always the kind of thing that can hurt itself. So I don't know if it actually has a move that can hurt itself, but I don't want to take the chance. I blame the anime and Smash for that conception, but whatever. Alright, we got Radchu. And we got a single experience point. You got Giant Mimikyu and Salazzle, but not Togedemaru or Raquinid. Yeah, I had to delete my original Ultra Moon save file of Togedemaru and Araquanid from existence because they couldn't go into Pokemon Bank. I assumed it was with all totem sized Pokemon, but I guess Salazzle and Mimikyu are safe. Who knows? Alright. We have Radchu, so now we need to raise her friendship. Alright. Let's check on the farm. Alright. So that's our bound sweet egg. Alright, so, we got a bound sweet egg, so we just need to hatch the egg. Next, we also will need... Um... It's very annoying that I can't just, like, swap one out for the other. I have to empty a space in my party. But I need a binacle egg, so... Luckily, I lucked out and got a barbaracle. <laughs> Barbaracle. Okay, lots of swapping around. Okay, so I will need that next. Wait, did you already get an egg? How did that happen already? I've left the door. Well, I guess, considering it is Barbaracle, it makes sense that they would get handsy. <laughs> That's a terrible joke, but whatever. Uh, I'm just gonna make sure that that was a Barbaracle egg. Barbaracle egg. 
And also, it can't hurt to, like, try and use some of this egg hashing power. Like, that wouldn't have been another bound sweet egg, right? They don't like each other, so I don't see why it would happen that quickly. I don't know. I think it's possible that that was another bound sweet egg, so I'm just going to keep running around. Because number one, um, that helps me hatch the eggs that I currently have in my party. And number two, It means that I can guarantee that I get this egg. Alright. So, this is a guaranteed barbarical egg. Binacle egg. So... I don't have anything else I th to breed right now, I don't think. But while I have this in the egg powering move, I think I might as well try and get a Jangmo. So you know what, let's do that. While I've got, while I've got the egg power thing and I'm like here already. I think that'll be a good thing to do. Alright. Now let's go running back and forth. And eventually some of these eggs will start hatching. Because I've got egg hatching power, thanks to Rotom just deciding to give it to me. Which, you know what, I'm not going to complain about. Can her animation, like, change in the middle of the room, or is it, like, dependent on the load? I don't know. I'll keep running around in circles and see if her animation ever changes. It can happen in the room. Okay. In that case, I'm just going to keep running around in circles. Eventually, some of these eggs, eggs will thing. The fence bit in front of her. Here? This works? This counts as steps? It, it does, okay. Fascinating. Why does this look like the art torture for me for my 10th anniversary of Let's Plays? <laughs> this area. Bound Suite hatched first. Do 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 do. All right. What are we naming our berry? What shall her name be?
And while that happens, is there anything else I'm going to need to breed at any other point? No, this is the last thing that I was looking for an egg for. Alright, so I don't I'm not gonna need any other eggs after this, at least. Dragon fruit, sure. She can be a dragon if she really wants to be. I won't crush her dreams. Alright. Yep. Come up with another name quickly! <laughs> There's Vinicle. What shall the hands be named? And if you can't come up with a name, I'll just name her hands anyway. <laughs> or handsy, because it's I'll immortalize my horrible joke. Handsy, sure. All right, well, that's good. Let's go plop them in my box. Gonna need you. Gonna need to all of you. Yeah, okay. Alright. Let's keep hoping for a thing while I try to hatch egg. They still don't like each other. Alright, running around in circle time. Do 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 do. Do I have anything with flame body or magma armor? Don't think so. I know Met Cargo is in this game, but I uh don't want to be bothered getting it. And also these are the only things I'm catching anyway. So since I'm already mostly there and I have this Proton power, it's like not a huge deal that I don't have that, I don't think. It's not like with the whole EV situation. Okay, so, wow, they really did get super fast, huh? I'm just gonna name him Handyman. Just to speed things up. Okay. I'm still waiting for that first egg. The one they just kind of hand you. I don't know which one that is going to be. But for the time being, might as well see if I can hatch it while waiting. Okay. Let's see what this one is. It was an Eevee. Okay. Don't know if I'm going to do anything with this Eevee, but hey, it's an Eevee. I don't need any other Eevee things, so... 
You know, watch this be a fucking girl. Okay, I was gonna say, if this is a fucking girl, Evie, after everything we went through in Brilliant Diamond. <laughs> Alright, well, I... It, you know what? If there was a, gonna be any random Pokemon that I get from an egg on stream, it, may, it it's very fitting for it to be a random Eevee egg. You know what? Just to speed things along, I'm just gonna name it Exclamation Point. Alright. So, I'm not exactly getting... Um... I, I need... I, I need these guys to do the do. And give me an egg. Because now I'm out of eggs to hatch, is the thing. Um, you know what, I'm, I'm out of eggs to hatch, so like the power level thing isn't going to matter anyway, so let's just head over... Ugh, but I... Catching stuff is going to be really awkward, considering I need... Uh, um, Como O is the one with false swipe. So I need... Alright, fine, I'll sit around and wait... For her hand to move. Thank you. Finally. Okay. So I do need to hatch this. Put everything, everybody away so I can take out Ditto and Como. -o. All right, we're done. We're we're not we're done breeding eggs now. So that is a good thing. So, next step. Alright. First up. Uh, where is Howley City? Okay. There is an event in the mall that I am looking for. Is this the mall? Looks big enough to probably be a mall. Yes, okay. I'm pretty certain this is the mall. So. Now I just need to figure out where. just for clothing. Um, I'm looking for beware, basically. I know there are other places to get it, but this one's going to be lower level, and I don't really care about the level. I and I 
do care about how easy it is to catch. Do I have to go over here? Do I have to activate this stupid goddamn quest? Fine, I know where they all are, assuming they're not all moved around. This stupid quest, I'm assuming, is blocking me my my path. So fine. Blah 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 blah. Okay, so some of them are moved around, which is very annoying. I did this in Moon while trying to find Magirna. <laughs> it was very annoying. But I know their tricks and how they like to hide these now. The real annoying thing is that you have to go back and forth and back and forth. You can't just pick up multiple. So it's good to see they didn't improve it. But then again, probably nobody even did this <laughs> who's, like, capable of complaining to begin with. This is really stupid. This is really stupid. But I'm pretty certain this will allow me access to Beware afterwards. And if not, then whatever. Alright. A great big piece of Pokemon garbage. Also known as Pokemon Sword and Shield. Alright, and if this doesn't unlock Beware, okay, let's try leaving and coming back. Did I just waste my time again? Holy City Mall. Just take me to the goddamn place. Mall. In Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, after the player completes Olivia's Grand Trial, they can watch a Beware costume show that teaches children the dangers of Beware's immense strength. Where? I don't understand. Where in the mall? I just want a goddamn bear. Is 
It doesn't say anything about, like, a time. I, I, I don't I don't understand. It just says you can do it. I don't want to battle. It's not it's not here. God, this stupid fucking mall. I give up. Where the fuck else is, can you get Beware? Because apparently, it's just not possible to find. Beware is in Pony Gauntlet. All the way over there. As a 5% chance. Oh my fucking god. What if I just look it up someplace else? How only city mall beware? How the hell do you do this? During the day. Fuck you, Bulbapedia. It is time sensitive. Okay, we'll move on. It's time sensitive. It only happens in the day. Fuck you, Bulbapedia, for... Um, omitting very crucial information. <sighs> okay. I'll just wait for time to pass then. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. But that is dumb. Anyways. So, Route 15. This one's not an Alolan Pokemon, but I feel like it will be important for me to take care of. So, let's try and find me a clam pearl. First try. Perfect. Okay. So, we don't want to kill this thing. Instead, we need it to SOS call. Okay. It's help didn't appear. Good news is I also have Dragon Dance, so I can, like, just waste time. Call for help again. Are you gonna call for help again? Come on. I am looking for Gorbis and Huntail, who can show up as SOS battles in Clan Pearl. Now, the key thing is, that's not the only way to get them technically, but this is going to be easier than otherwise. Do I have any adrenaline orbs? I do. But I do believe I'm holding it as Wind Chime already? And if not, I need to do this multiple times anyway, and I think... I'm not sure if I have more than one.
But either way, only they only show up one one shows up in the night and one shows up in the day. I don't remember which one is which. You have to use it, you don't think holding works. Okay. Can you buy more than one? Yes? Okay, then I'll use it right now. As everybody levels up from killing one clam. <laughs> okay. Bag. Uh... Adrenaline orb. Use. Do I have to keep this clam pearl alive now? Or if I kill this clam pearl and another thing, is it more like, is it for the clam pearl individually or for the battle as a whole? Do you know? I assume you do, because this seems like the kind of thing you're used to. Should I keep the left clam pearl, the weakened clam pearl alive and kill the new one, or... Is it just a general vibe? Well, while you... You know what? Since I used the thing, I'm just gonna close combat the... The new clam pearl. Just to be on the safe side for now. Because I'm not really in danger of this clam pearl struggling anyway. Clamperl called for help. Its help didn't appear. Alright, I'll dragon dance then. And another Clamperl showed up. It's level 11, wow. SOS chains don't break as long as it's another of the same species or evolution line. I'm gonna heal next turn. Mostly because of Whirlpool. But yeah, I basically need to do this twice. Once for Huntail and once for Gorbis. Whichever one shows up. for help. Come on, give me the goods. Nothing. Okay. Well, in the meantime, I'll give myself another potion, because why not? I 
There's another one. Hmm. That's a problem. Okay. I'm getting Corsola flashbacks. I'm getting a little bit worried about this left one struggling soon, though. So I think I'm going to kill it soon anyway. Because I don't know how many moves it has, or how much PP it has left in the moves that it's been using. So I think I would rather genuinely just be safe and kill the left Clam Pearl. Because I'd rather it take longer than to lose the Clam Pearl and then have to find it again. Plus, if you can only use an Adrenaline Orb once per fight, I feel like it makes more sense for it to just affect everything in the fight rather than just the individual one Pokémon. You know? Whatever. I will need to False Swipe this guy again. Another Clam Pearl. Can't be switched out? Okay, well, in that case... I'll just kill you, then. <laughs> oh, it's because of Whirlpool. Please let me free. Let me free. Thank you. So how are you guys doing today? Cause I'm just kinda hanging out now. Call for Gorbis. 
or Huntail, whichever one is going to show up at night. Blurg. Well, at the very least, I am gaining a little bit of, uh, levels from all of this. All I'm getting is goddamn Clam Pearl. I know you can get Gorbis. I checked. I'm going to double check just in case, though. Gorbis. Game locations. Route 15. SOS battle. Fishing. Route 15 is exactly where I am. Pokemon and Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Yeah, apparently Clamperl is a 5% chance. Wait, no, at the bubbling spot it's 35% chance. Never mind. So yeah, I'm gonna be getting a Huntail because it's nighttime. But yeah, it says it's there. Doesn't really give any other indication of anything else, so I can get it. Just so long as it, you know, shows up. But it really doesn't want to. I'm not even looking for a shiny, I'm just looking for a... Huntail. Dooby doo doo dee doo. The main reason why I also want this is because specifically, like, in order to get Clam uh, Gorbis and Huntail normally, they need to be holding very specific items while you trade them, which is like such an obnoxious concept to me that, like, if I can just get them naturally, I'd rather do that. <laughs> And these are Pokemon that I don't think I would ever really otherwise be able to get in a good opportunity to. So, this feels like genuinely, like, the best way to get these Pokemon. It just stinks that... Uh... It just stinks that, like, it's taking this long. Come on, give me the f eel. That's a clam, not an eel. Give me the eel, 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 give me the eel. That's not an eel, that's not an eel, that's not an eel. Well, you know what you guys can do in the meantime? If you'd like to, you can try and come up with a name for the Huntail I'm gonna eventually get. While all this is going on. Might as well use our time efficiently, and after all. Give me an eel. 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 That's a clam.
If this Pichu doesn't become a Pikachu by the end of this, I'm gonna be genuinely surprised <laughs> with how many levels it's just gotten. <laughs> That's not an eel. That's a clam. Give me an eel, 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 give me an eel. That's a clam. What are my favorite season? I like winter. Winter's pretty nice. I usually prefer the cold to warmth because it's easier to get warm when you're cold rather than it's it's harder to get it's easier to get warm when it's cold rather than get cold when it's warm and i also don't like bugs so winter time has no bugs and right, i should probably kill the right clam pearl soon I have a feeling it's almost close to struggling, and I just want to make sure, and I also know, obviously, now I can. That's an e not an eel! I doctor gained a level from all this, amazingly. I sure grew to level 20. Give me an eel. 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 That's a clam. Give me an eel, give me an eel, give me an eel, give me an eel, give me an eel. That is a clam! Why is this so hard to find? Ah, 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 ah. Can I escape or will it not let me? Why do these clams have clam things? There's a very silly reason to use this, but... Give me an eel, 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 that's a clam.
Give me an eel. 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 That's a clam. Give me an eel, please. 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 That's a clam. Any other questions to ask me while I'm waiting for an eel? Because nothing else is going on right now. I did not think this was going to be this tedious. I was much more optimistic than this. That's a clam. What's my Pokemon opinion on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? They're alright. Uh, I think that it's really unfortunate that the games run so horribly because it really detracts, it really distracts from the other genuine game design problems that are present in Scarlet and Violet. Everybody just focuses on how poorly optimized it is and how buggy it is. And instead, they don't talk about other annoying actual problems with the game. Not that the graphics are, aren't are a problem, because they kind of are. They're very egregiously bad in a lot of ways. But... I would say the bigger problems are... More so in terms of, like, how the game is structured. And things like that. But at the very least, it's written decently. In, in uh, instances where it doesn't feel that bad. Although the Team Star storyline's pretty stupid. But I'll take... I'll, I'll take it with, with how good the... Uh, Endgame and Arvin storylines are. Give me an eel. Give me an eel. Give me an eel. That is a fucking clam! I'm not doing something wrong, am I? I- I don't get it. Is this just how... Is this just how it is? Cause like, there's not like a percentage chance. I'm gonna check a percentage chance. Huntail SOS battle. Apparently it's just, it can take forever. What are the rates? Yes, good. That's, that's a good thing to ask.
Doesn't really seem to say. A GitHub of her account tables. That's good to see. Okay, let's see. Alright, let's... Control F, Clam Pearl. Huh? Hi, Louie Mooie. What is a desire sensor? Also, the reason why I'm confused is because this SOS slot thing that I'm seeing says there's a 35% chance I don't think this is actually accurate. I think the 35% chance is just based on the clam pearl. Uh, encounter rate and not like what the SOS call calls are. But there's seven SOS slots, and it says one through three are are Huntail, and four through seven are Clamperl. Which is a better chance than So I, I don't believe this thing that I found. Yeah, because, like, if it's 35% or if it's a 3 out of 7 chance, then I would have seen one at this point. There's no way in which I would not have... There's no way in which I would have been this unlucky. I saw another thing that said it was 5%, but I think that's the same deal as, like... Cause like if you don't f if you because apparently I always thought that in these games you could only fish at bubbling spots, but apparently you can fish anywhere like in the old games. Uh, I'm gonna kill the left one and like let the right one live this time around. Well, if you're gonna exist here, I might as well kill you, and I'll I'll swap out to the other once. All right, you didn't call. So wind chime will false swipe you again. But either way, if you if you fish at a bubbling spot, Clam Pearl shows up and has a 35% chance to show up. If you fish at a non-bubbling spot, then Clam Pearl only, only has a 5% chance of showing up. So I think that's where the 5% Huntail thing comes in as well. God damn it! Clamp and Whirlpool are infuriating here!
You can get shinies through FO hunting. It's one of the ways they do it in this game. I can't leave because of clamp, so I've just got to heal up. Honestly, I don't know if I want to do this two times now. Seeing how long and tedious this is taking, and how annoying these fucking Clamperol are with, like, the Clamp and stuff. Like, even if I have better Pokemon in my party to do this with. Finally fucking free from Clamp. Thank you. Like, even if I have more Pokemon to do this better. Like, this is just so much worse than I expected, because, like, even, I'll get, I'll, ju I'll just flat out say it, even the fucking Marini wasn't this bad to find. I found Marini faster than this, and that was without an adrenaline orb. You gonna call this masochistic? This is not masochistic. There are so many more masochistic things you could do in a Pokemon game. This is like... This is small potatoes. Besides, I think I've only probably been here for like 20 minutes. I'm not looking for a shiny, is the thing. I am just looking for a Huntail. If I get a shiny, cool, but that's not why I'm here. <laughs> give me an eel, give me an eel, give me an eel, that's a clam. Reverse psychology? Give me a clam, 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 give me a clam. Well, it didn't work. <laughs> Maybe it's because we said it out loud. We spoiled the plan in advance. Huntail, 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 huntail. Huntail, 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 that's a clam. Huntail, 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 that's a clam. I 
I hate these Pokemon. Hey, little Kirby. Do you have... Sun slash Ultra Sun? I don't remember. You have Ultra Moon, okay. Because I found out one Pokemon that I don't have from Gen 7 is a... Uh, Moon, is, is a Sun exclusive, and I didn't know about it before, otherwise I would have asked about it when Blissman was here. Turtonator. Once my stream hits three hours, which will be in 15 minutes, if I don't have Huntail by then, I'm giving up. I really did not think this was going to be that bad. I genuinely didn't. Because to me, the worst part of, like, getting Marini from the Corsola thing was A, finding the Corsola to begin with, and B, like, how infrequently I was getting it to call for help to begin with. So when I was thinking that, like, if they had, if I had this, um, I was thinking that if I had the Adrenaline Orb, it would probably be just decently speedy enough, like, I don't know, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, but we're already at, like, 30 I don't think killing these guys with Toxic is going to be the best strategy. But I'm out of moves.
You have both evolution items. We'll put a pin in that for now. Calls for help. Got another clam pearl. Cause I'm still here and I might as well keep trying for the next about 10 minutes. No, I haven't. I don't really see what that would do, because at this point, it's not necessarily how often are they calling for help. It's what answers the call, and I don't think that has any effect. I don't think it would have any effect on, like, that RNG, you know? It's, it's not a matter of, like, getting it to call for help more times. It's a matter of, like... God damn it, Whirlpool! You heard what it's when you fish, it's easier to flee the fights and retry for the hunt tail? I don't really see why that would be the case. Quite frankly. It's RNG either way. You know? I don't think a new encounter battle would like change the RNG in terms of like what it's going to call or not. That too, also, yes. Huntail is only callable through SOS battles.
It really just does not want to give us the eel. Very unfortunate. I'm a true... M I'm preparing myself to be a muck. About six minutes. You have six minutes to show up, eel. I've run out of things to say. Well. No, I have zero interest in it. I'm not the biggest 3D Zelda guy, and especially Breath of the Wild was, like, negative interest towards me. So a sequel to Breath of the Wild is, like, also equally uninteresting to me. Imagine if I didn't have battle animations turned off this entire time. And how, s how, how much slower this would all still be. Two minutes, Eel. Two minutes.
The clams gotta win. Mostly because I'm just tired. And this eel has a minute left to show up. You know what? I'll give it to when I run out of sludge bombs. Watch me get a shiny clam pearl. Watch, watch that happen. Before I get a Huntail, I get a shiny clam pearl. I, I just have a feeling now. Because I've given this ultimatum, I, I have a feeling that it's just going to, like, do this to me. Help didn't appear. <gasps> I gave it an ultimatum, and it actually happened. I got the fucking eel. Well, let's not count my chickens before they hatch. Shame I don't have any timer balls. Um, you learned Thunder Wave, right? Yeah, you learned Thunder Wave. Let's see if you can live, because you're several levels higher. You can paralyze. Oh my god. We got the freaking eel. Anyone have a name for it? We certainly had the time to come up with one. Oh my lord. Pinnacle, sure.
<sighs> you know what? Um, first off, I'm gonna go heal up. You know what I'm shocked about? Pichu didn't fucking <laughs> evolve. I was really expecting to, it to have enough friendship after, like, 20 evolutions in one battle. And getting sent out and all that jazz, but... I guess it wasn't enough. Anyways, little Kirby, prepare whatever the thing is for Gorbis, because I don't want to do that again, so I'm just going to catch one Clam Pearl. I would very much, in fact, like to not do that again. Oh, you have a clam pearl already? In that case, where do I want to go next? Let's start from the top of the list. Let me know once you're ready to send me the Clam Pearl with the item. Petalil, not what I need. Here we go. I already have an Oricorio, but I am missing two Oricorio forms, so that's what this is for right now. I'm going to catch two of these. Essentially. Okay, and that's one. What shall we name this bird that will be fed nectar and turn into a different bird?
What shall the dancing bird be named? If you're curious about which forms I need, I need not this one and not the red one. So, the pink one and the purple one. If that if, if impacts anybody at all. I don't know which one this will be. Birdo, sure. Alright. Alright. Little Kirby, are we on friends lists? I also realize I need to catch something that's fodder for you. Well, once I connect to the internet, I'll see what's going on if you're if you pop up in my festival plaza. Doesn't look like it. Alright. I'm assuming you're here already. showing up. Oh, connecting to the internet now. Alright. Well, we'll see. Still not showing up. Isn't Festival Plaza great? Yeah, okay. So... Before I do anything else, I'm just gonna catch whatever shows up here next. So that I can trade it to you. Okay, well first I need to catch another bird. And then I'll catch a thing for you for fodder that you can have instead of the clam pearl. Come on, Oricorio. Getting the ball. Alright. 
Fine, I'll use an Ultra Ball. Okay. Oracorio was caught. And now I'll catch a fire thing for you. Well, first I'll name the Oracorio, I don't know. Ryu O B. Sure. I just want to kind of like get through it quickly. <laughs> Alright, fodder thing coming up, and then we can exchange friend codes. So you can probably get yours ready to send me another bird. Alright, that's what you're getting. You'll be able to see mine in a moment, as soon as I catch this thing. Why are Oracorio so obnoxiously annoying to catch? It's level 11, and I'm using Ultra Balls, and it's poisoned. Like, I feel like it should just catch automatically. There we go. And just for you, I'll name this Oracorio... Clam in commemoration. All right, I will save. I've saved the game. Friend list. All right. Here's my code: two one zero five ninety sixty three eighty five sixty one. I'll leave it up for another f moment before I input yours. Okay. Internet. Three four nine seven. Two one two two ninety three oh seven. I'm friends with Lick. Newm indeed. All right. Festival Plaza. Connect to the internet. Ooh, that's something I need to do. I need to do that pretty quickly, I think. Cause I think... It might be a reverse thing? I don't know. Uh, I'll do that after. Trade. 
Link trade. I'm just thinking to myself. I'm looking at my list of things. Uh, little Kirby. Here is your clam. I appreciate you saving us from about 40 more minutes of searching for another eel. <laughs> Pink indeed. <laughs> Clam Pearl's data will be added to the Pokedex. Lovely. Always wanted a clam. Clam pearls evolving. The evil has been defeated. I actually don't think I can do that other one. Okay. We're free. Sure, you can learn Aqua Tail, I guess. How do you get eels from clams, anyway? Alright. So, this is not the most efficient thing I could do. But I do need to head here for a uh, Pokemon. Oh, I do have one other thing I need to breed. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll handle that later. First and foremost, I gotta get you before 45 minutes pass. You're not you. I need to put Wind Chime out in front. As well. <laughs> okay. I'm looking for a masquerade at the moment. They only show up here at night, so... That is what I will be searching for. I don't care, Rotom! I know... I, 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 I know what you're trying to do, but it's just... It slows everything down.
Poliwhirl. I... Rotom. By the way, I never actually said... Uh, last stream. Why is Rotom sad? Up. Okay. Um... Last stream had this whole guessing game of like, ooh, what generation one Pokemon do I not have? And then I never said what it is. <laughs> I left you all in the dark. Although Inari was not here during that whole question, so... Feel free to get in a couple of guesses if you want to try and guess the one single generation one Pokemon I don't have in my living decks. It's not a legendary. And it's not a specific form. It's just a species. And it's an individual number. So it's not like a Pokémon line. It's like an individual Pokémon number. So, like, this isn't it, but, like, it could theoretically have been Charmeleon, is the point. It's not Charmeleon. I have a Charmeleon. But, like, the point is, it's not like, oh, it's the Charmander line that I'm missing. No, it's like, it would specifically be Charmeleon in that, this example, but I have a Charmeleon. That's what I'm trying to get at. Stop giving me Poliwhirls. What is the percentage chance of Masquerine? <laughs> Should be 20%. That's not that bad. Psyduck is rarer than it. It's equal to Ariados. Hey, Meowth. I wonder if Tense is still here. Nope, I've got Eradicate. Both forms, in fact. the same chance as an area dose, but I'm not getting Masquerine. Just give me Masquerine. Please? I'm pretty certain I don't have it. Maybe this patch of grass will have it. I got a luxury ball. Poliwhirl is, again, another 20% chance, but not the 20% chance for a Masquerine. I know that it's the right time of day because Ariados is equal in terms of, like, percent chance for a Masquerine. I do have a Wigglytuff. It is not Wigglytuff. Meowth. I've got a lot of Parasect. I like Parasect. I think Mushroom Bug are cool. Where the frickin' hell is a Masquerine? It's equal percent chance likely as everything else here.
I'm trying to rack my brain if I got one in moon or not. In regular moon. I don't think I did. Now, while I'm looking, I'm gonna go open up the video file for the ending of Pokemon Moon. For me. Which should... Have me putting things away. Okay. Here it is, here's the masquerade. Right in time for me to find the file. God damn it. <laughs> I wasted time. I got a masquerade in moon. God damn it. Well. <sighs> I'll get two, I guess. What about Seeking? I got Seeking. In fact, I got a Seeking in my Let's Play of Crystal. Umbush. Alright, anyone, anybody want to name this redundant masquerade I got? Don't ask me to spell it, because I don't remember how many M's and L's were in it. <laughs> it was very drawn out. You know what, just to speed things along, I'm just going to name this guy, re this girl, Redundant. Okay. Now, since I have one more thing that I actually am going to want to breed, let's go get it. Yep. Hey, a free adrenaline orb. Thank you. <laughs> Are you what I'm looking for? Are you just in piles here? I don't actually know. Nope, you're a trap inch. Uh, let me figure out percentage chance of this. And if it's in a specific area. Okay, it's not an ambush encounter. Or it could be an ambush encounter. Actually. 
Apparently, Trap Inch is a very rare <laughs> ambush encounter. This is what I'm looking for. Crocker Rock. So feel free to give me a name for this Croc Rock, because we're catching him. I should have used the fucking Luxury Ball on the Pichu. God damn it. Whatever. I love Croc Rock, so I wanted to live a live live a life of luxury. Croc Rock is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. But in fact, the only two Croc Rocks I've ever owned are ones that I evolved into crocodiles. So for my living decks, I don't actually have a Croc Rock, despite having used multiple. They're all crocodiles. And to that extent is why I'm going to need to breed this Crocorock for a Sand Isle. Come on, don't you want to live a life of luxury? If you guys come up with a name for him, feel free to just show it up, throw it in the comments, in the chat. No need to wait until I've caught it. Because it will speed things along. And I will get this thing. You know what? Fine. No luxury for you. We got it. So what are we naming them? Super Crunch Cereal Mascot. <laughs> Super Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bit. Do you real- I don't- you- I don't think you realize just how hilarious that is. I don't think you realize. Just how funny it is that you named them Super Crunch. <laughs> See, I told you that I used a Crocker Rock before. who evolved into a crocodile in my Pokemon Black 2 Let's Play. And in that Let's Play, I had a gimmick of all the Pokemon that I was using in that Let's Play were named after Pokemon moves that they could learn. And I used a and I used a Crocorock in that, who then became a crocodile. Do you know what move I named that crocodile? Crunch! So now, I've got Crunch, and Super Crunch! <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> it 
it's even funnier that like Super Crunch is the weaker form. All right. Time to run around in circles for a bit. Until this girl moves her arm. There's a Lycanroc Z Crystal in the desert? I only remember the one for uh, Psychic type Z moves. There we go. Ah, ultra exclusive. Neat. All right, we got Sandile Egg. Perfect. Just throw things to take a little bit faster. Let's get these guys out now. Terrain destroyer before ice spinner. There are other ways to destroy terrain, but I don't. I guess it's it, them. They might become, come later. There's like a steel roller move or something like that. I remember because I put it on my Azumarill when I was doing some things. All right, now let's put these guys away. Uh, during the semi-competitive thing, I was doing. Well, it wasn't semi-competitive, it was more so just, like, competitive-friendly stuff. Alright. Now that I've got two eggs... Um... Here's what I'm gonna do. I need nectar. For one of my things. I also need to buy some balls. I'm running a bit low on some. Just in case I need any more of these. Also, I can sell all my nuggets and big nuggets. Wow, that's a lot of fucking money. How do I get nectar from this place? Because this is where you get nectar on this island. Is it something I like need to buy from somebody? Cause I know it's here. But I don't know where here. Yeah, it is a sparkly thing, I know that. Maybe it is a reload the area thing.
I'm gonna look up the nectar. This is gonna be pink nectar. It's only during the day. I need to wait 20 minutes. Good to know. That is very annoying. Whatever. Okay. Here's the next thing I need. Not you. I don't think this is the right kind of fishing spot. It's not even bubbling. That's a bubbling fishing spot, if i ever seen one. A heart scale, okay. Goldine. I don't care. Uh, what I'm looking for here is Aloe Mamola. You are not what I'm looking for. I already have a Basculin who is blue. The only Basculin I need is red, and that's not you. Do these still count as bubbling spots now that like, the bubbles are gone? I genuinely don't know. I assume they do. Wait. Oh. It's in the totem's den. So I'm in the wrong spot anyway.
Okay, this part of the area. Okay. So fishing at a bubbling spot will have a 35% chance of a Loma Mola. Apparently a very higher chance of nothing. Are you kidding me? Come on. What the hell? This is why fishing is annoying. Are you kidding me? There we go. Watch, it's gonna be a magic arp. Nope, oh, nope, first try. Cool. Got a name for a Loma Mola? Which I apparently can't catch with an Ultra Ball and no damage to it. There we go. Mola, it's here. What will we name him? Yep, it is a palindrome. Okay, no one's coming up with a name. Oh, palindrome, sure. You want to name it that? Sure. That works. Okay. My next stop is going to be Lush Jungle, but first, you probably heard it, I got called for dinner, so I'm going to eat some food. It will, I will be back in like 10 to 15 minutes. So. See you guys in a moment.
All right, everybody, I'm back. How y'all doing? I ain't Chinese food. Berry. HP restores, okay. Alright. How do I get to the jungle again? Cause that's Brooklyn hit hole. Oh. The jungle up top? I think it is. You guys can hear me, right? Okay, good. No one said anything in the, in the time being, and usually people are like, Hey, welcome back, at least. So I was just kind of like, huh. Anyways, I do need to, get, need to catch Steenie here. Even though we've already had one before, she evolved into Serena, so... I'm gonna need a Steeny. This is in fact one of three things I need from Lush Jungle. So it was very nice that it showed up first. What shall we name Steeny? Still got a little bit of cough in me, huh? Alright, no one's saying anything, so I'm just gonna name her Yeej after Little Kirby's typo. Because why not? Alright, that's one of three things. So next, I need either a Fomantis or a Kamupei. And here's Fomantis. There's another one. Here, I'll name this one Susie. And I've already got a Lilligant named Soothie, but I have Pokemon who have multiple names, so it's okay. <clears throat> Alright, Fomantis taken care of, so now all I'm going to need is Comfey.
All right, come fay time. I don't think it matters, but just in case, I'll check, because I was wrong about a Loma Mola. Okay, never mind. I just found all three in a row. Perfect. <laughs> Wonderful. Couldn't have, couldn't have asked for Lush Jungle to go any better. All right, give me a Comfey name. <laughs> this is refreshing to come back to. I'll say that much. After some of the other nonsense that we've been through. Oh, that was a critical capture. Nice. Any nicknames? Because otherwise I'll name her Critical after they're captured. Flowey. Sure. Alright, that means I believe we're done with Lush Jungle. It is now officially daytime, so I can go to A, Royal Avenue, and get the nectar that I would like. I thought it was supposed to be day when it's past 6 o'clock. I guess I need to wait longer then. Well, in that case, uh... I'm gonna go to Coney Coney. Make my Pichu friendlier. How is Radchu doing? We must spend a lot of time together. I don't know if that's good enough or not. already got a thunderstone. even worth getting I don't even remember what armor fossil is for I don't need a kabuto I don't need a cradley 
I don't need an Amara or an Auroras. I would need a Tyrantrum. But that's only available in Sun. I really don't remember what armor is, but I think that's a Gen 4 one, and I have all the Gen... I have everything from Gen 4. Alright. So... Uh, next... Route 8. There are two things I need here in Route 8. You are not one of them. What I am... The first thing I need is... Uh... The first thing I need is going to be... That's not what I clicked, game. Whatever. First thing I need is going to be Fletch Ender. How are my eggs doing? It'll hatch soon and it's made close. Alright, so one of them is close and the other is not. Good to know. Fletchender, 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 Fletchender. Another Trumbeak. I think it's day now. I think it's turning day, at least. Okay, how likely is Fletch Ender? Oh. Okay, let's catch a Fletchling instead. I'm not suffering through that again. It's another SOS. Alright, Fletchling instead. Luckily, I haven't found a Fletchling yet, and it's 15% chance, so... Luckily, I don't need a Talonflame, only a Fletchender. Well, Trumbeak is the most likely option to show up here. So. There we go. Next. Anyone? 
Anyone got a name for Burb? Okay, I'll name them Burb. Next up, I need to find the Fossil Restoration Center, which I'm assuming is the building over here. Oh, hi, Colress. Did this not happen already? Okay. Oh yeah, I did do this and like <laughs> said I was never going to come back here with a big ma malasada, but now I have them. Is this not the Fossil Restoration Center? Okay, what is the Fossil Restoration Center? Apparently Tauros cannot climb stairs. I'm looking for a building. Is it not a building? Because it's just hotel stuff. It's not a building. Well, either way, walking around a lot got me an egg. Alright, which one is this? I think this is going to be Komo. Or Jangmo. Yeah, Jangmo. All right, what shall we name this little fella? What shall we name her? And if you guys don't have names, I'll name her Jingle. Jingle it is. You're a scientist, are you the thing? What shall we name the Archon, by the way?
What shall this bird be? What shall her name be? Preburb. Sure. Works for me. Okay, next our business. It is still daytime, so let's see if Royal Avenue has any Nectar Meadow stuff for me. It's not considered day yet, and I don't really know what to make of that. Okay, um, what's next? Let's do something a little challenging so I can get some experience. Let's try and get another Jangmo so I can evolve it into Hakamo. This might take a little bit of time. What's the system clock set to? Uh... Apparently it's 1728. On the second day, which means it's three o'clock? It thinks it's three o'clock? No, yes, five thirty. Okay, so it's an hour off. That's probably because of daylight savings. It's probably daylight savings. Okay. That explains why it's not... Why it was like, oh, it's it starts at six. But, like, it's not. It's an hour off. So it is still nighttime. Oh, hey, the other egg. What do we want to name the sand isle? Because we got crunch and we got super crunch, so... What's this one going to be? Mega crunch? Ultra crunch? <laughs> There's not enough room for super duper crunch, unfortunately. <laughs> Giga Crunch. Works for me. Let's see how my luck holds for finding Jangmo.
Carbink, don't need it. I'll give this like 10 minutes to try and find, I think. Maybe. Because it did take a really long time to not only get the egg, but hatch an egg. And it would take just as long to also, like, evolve high enough, you know? So, like, I do feel like if I want to get a uh, Hakamo, it'll be fastest to do it this way. But I just... It's gonna be a while to get one, because, like, it's a really low percent chance, I think, of showing up. Let me check. Fast Pony Canyon. Ultra Zone, Ultra Moon. Yeah, it's a 5% chance. So, not particularly great. So, what do you guys want to talk about in the meantime? Let me look at my list and see what else I'm going to need to get after this. I'm going to want to try and get. I still need to get the Nectars for Oricorio, but those are only available in the day, so I can't do that until 30 minutes pass. Same thing with Beware, the event for that, it only happens in 30 minutes. Uh... I need to get a Gudra. Gumi is found in Route 17, which is also always raining. So I'm going to need to get a Gudra there. And then evolve it, get, get to a high enough level that I can just rare candy it in Route 17, which is always raining. Uh, Bruxish, I need to go fishing for which just should be fishing. And there's three different routes for that. I hate that thing, but I do need it. I need Drampa in Mount Lanakila. Um, I need to get a Pangoro. Which means I need to find a Panchan in Route 10 and then evolve it at level 32 when I have a Dark type in my party. Uh, working on Alone Raichu right now. I need a Garbodor. Which evolves at level 36 after I get a Trubbish in Melee City. Got a couple of things that I need in Pony Plains, Amolga and Mandibuzz. They're on Route 12, I need Mainectric and Alolan Graveler, which are just both in the grass. I need a Sharpedo and a Shellgon, both of which evolve at level 30. I can get one at Pony Break Coast and one in Seaward Cave. Uh, there is the entire Vanillish line. Uh, which only appear during Hail SOS Battles, our favorite, which means that I need to do it at 6 p.m. to midnight, which, again, can't happen until 30 minutes pass, but the other thing about that is I think it might be time-flipped, which means that I, if I do want to go for that, I will probably go back, use my special Necrozma to go back into the time-flipped world and then try it there, just because I'll be impatient. And then, otherwise, I just need a Lolan Muck and Fortress. I'm already kind of working on a Lolan Muck. I don't have it in my party, though.
I should actually fix that. Let me go back to the Pokemon Center, actually, so I can fix that. I think that'll be worth fixing. Because I do need levels for that. I think that's everything I need that, like, needs to be evolved. So, yeah, okay. How you guys doing? How's the vibe tonight? Probably gonna be streaming for like another hour, hour and a half would be my assumption. So hopefully I can get some of this stuff done soon. Some of, some, some of these longer things. I feel like this is probably gonna be the longest thing left for me to do. Is just get a 5% encounter here. I don't think anything else is gonna be quite as strenuous. Cooking some noodles. Any sauce or just noodles? Oh my god, here we go! Apparently the trick is to leave and come back. I don't think I have a repeat ball, so I'll just throw another Ultra Ball. Alright, well this is going to be the longest thing for me. And yet here we go. Well, I have to catch it first. It called for help. Its help didn't appear. Alright, what shall our other one be? This one we're going to evolve into Hakamo'o, the best one of this line. Otherwise, I might just name it Noodle or Pesto or something in honor of Little Kirby. Sabine, works for me. He may be a guy, but <laughs> it works for me. I'm gonna need to add you to my party because I need your evolution. All right. All right, excellent. Let's move past the Ruins of Hope. Uh, 
Uh, Sharpedo fishing at Pony Breaker Coast. I'm gonna look for a bubbling spot. This isn't bubbling, but hopefully it's good enough. I need Carvana here. Whalmer. Not what I really wanted. You gotta leave. Thanks for sticking by, Inari. You're here for quite some time. Is there, like, another... bubbling spot anywhere. Because otherwise it's going to be a 10% encounter and I don't really want to deal with that. I'd prefer to bump it up to a 20% encounter myself. I think I just scared it away, and it's not coming back until I reload the area, would be my assumption. And it's just another Wilmer. A level 14 Whalmer to boot. Lovely. A pearl, yay. Wilmer again. This one's level 41, so let's just kill it. Because it'll be experience. Yeah, we're getting Fletch Ender, at least. So I can bold that one off my list. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do!
All right, well, all I'm gonna be doing is searching for this Carvana. Magic Carp. I don't want a Magic Carp. Twenty percent chance for Carvana, and a thirty percent chance for Wilmer. Come on, Carvana. Magic art. Another magic card. Welcome back. I haven't got Carvana yet. So you have missed absolutely nothing. I feel like it's probably just going to be faster to keep reloading this one and not bothering with the other two spots. Big Pearl. Cool.
God, all that for a goddamn Wilmer. It's a 20% chance, it's not that unlikely. Problem is just the fact that it's like... I don't get a whole ton of chances to re-roll because it's so slow in between re-rolls. And that's the real biggest annoyance of all this. It's not necessarily the RNG, but how slow it is between rolls of RNG. Here we go! Be a high level. 32. I think that's good enough. It is, in fact, good enough. It evolves at level 30. So all it needs is one level, and we're good. We got Sharpedo. So, got a name for this Carvana, or will I name it Noodle? Or Pesto, or whatever. <sighs> Conductor. Well, she wouldn't like electricity, so she would be a good conductor of it. <laughs> Much to her chagrin. We don't need Burb anymore. Alright. Now that's taken care of. Pony Grove has nothing. I had a lot of confidence that that guy was not going to see me because he does not seem to have great vision. Alright, Pony Plains has a few things for me. I need... Emolga from Rustling Trees. And... From Shadow Ambush, I need... Mandibuzz. Ah, oh, hey, Mandibuzz! Well, I don't need to worry about any Fearow anymore. I have no fear. In fact, I'm just going to name the Mandy Buzz No Fear. Uh, hey, we're getting Pikachu!
And Mandibuzz, too. Can't forget Mandibuzz. <laughs> No. Beer. All right, send to a box. Uh, let me just save real quick, because I don't know how this evolution works. i pretty certain it's just Thunderstone. Pikachu! Pikachu! Hello, and Raichu acquired. I can bold you off finally. Excellent. I do not need a regular Raichu. All I need is a Lolan. Sweet fragrance. Gonna learn Psychic. Cool beans. All right, now I need shaking trees. Is this a shaking tree or a bush? I think it's just a shaking bush. Yeah, rustling bushes is different. Okay, since you won't let me leave... Now, this is a good place to remember because, like, the rustling bushes do have a chance of spawning Chansey. Rustling tree. Don't be a manky. You're a manky. Alright. Well, primate, whatever. So there's a 20% chance of a Molga here. Torpedo. I'll bold you off now.
I feel like I'm doing really good progress now. Oh, I also, I forgot to bold mandibuzz. Alright. So where are more trees that rustle? Well, here's a bush. I don't think petalils are going to be worth fighting. these kinds of trees. Alright, I don't really know what reloads it or not. So I'm just gonna go try and find something else and come back. Because there are some there are some things I am going to need to evolve still, so. I think it's worth trying to catch some of the things I'm going to need to level up. Just a little bit more efficiently while I'm trying to catch some of those hard things. Because, like, I'm going to be encountering other things that can get me experience, you know? So over here is going to be where I find Trubbish. Here's Trubbish. What shall we name the garbage bag? What shall her name be? And if you can't come up with something, I'll name her Jungle.
No, Junkle. Like that, because it's junk, but then also, like, Junkle. Because, like, remember in Hyrule Warriors, there was Link, and then they made Linkle? Like, it's kind of like that sort of, like, mentality. Because it's a girl. Sure, okay. Alright. Next up. I'm going to need... A Gumi in Route 17. Not a Ledian. Well, here's the Fero that you were afraid of. Not, not really. You know what I mean. Good news is whatever is here is going to be about level thirty-ish. How likely is Gumi here? This is Alolo Route Seventeen. Oh, it's a special ally only. Okay. Evidently, it does seem like I need to use SOS shenanigans, yes. I'm not really sure how this works, because everything ha can call for an ally, is the thing. I don't know. Uh, good thing I bought adrenaline orbs. I did use it, right? I don't think it did anything. There we go. Well, there's another Scraggy. Alright, there we go. Now you're calling. Call for a Gumi. Uh, 
Oh, you died. Well, maybe this is a good opportunity for me to get a Pokemon that isn't Wind Chime. To help with this. It used High Jump Kick and missed, so it crashed. Honey! Connector use on Birdo. Zlorp. It's now pink. Birdo transformed. This is as far as you'll go. Alright. Incinerator would be the most useful one to fight with. Alright, so do you know, like, what's li super likely to call for a Pokemon's help? Gumi in, here in route se in route seventeen. Or to get Gumi, basically. All I know now is to not use Scraggy because it can high jump kick itself to death. The other Pokemon here are Gumshoes, Ariados, Ledian, Firo, and Raticate. Ledian's calling for help. Get a Gumi. Help didn't appear. Alright, well, I'll false swipe you again. And I'll Dragon Dance, I guess. Alright, calling for help. Nobody wants to help this Ledian. I kind of understand. And we got another Ledian. Beep bop. Alright, Incinerator. Calls for help. His help didn't appear. Bulldoze has no effect. That's actually really great here. All of them seem to be the same regardless. Fair enough.
Let's hope this isn't like the Huntail. I mean, according to this, I have a 10% chance of getting Gumi. So at the very least, I have, like, an understanding of, like, the rarity, and that doesn't seem the worst. I mean, realistically, like, I got the Komo O, or I got the Jang Mo O, which was a 5% chance, a lot quicker, and I was, like, depending on how things go, like, I was doing things... I was getting new rolls slower because of, like, needing to enter a battle, go through all that animation, and run away, and so on and so forth. Whereas this, it's like, it's coming along a little bit faster, so I don't know. I feel like I'll probably get a Gumi soon. Do 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 do. Come on, give me another roll. Get help. Stop it. Get some help. D did you just give up? What's going on, Lydian? There we go. Goomy, goom, goomy, goomy, goom, goomy, goom, goomy, goomy, goom, please. Give me a goom. Goomy, 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 goo, goomy, goomy, goo, goomy, goo, goomy, 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 goomy. I think I'm going crazy. <laughs> I did, I did glance that Goomy was available in Lush Jungle too, but I didn't really look too deeply into it. And yeah, it does appear higher level here. Does it have a higher chance of spawning as an SOS in Lush Jungle? Because the other thing here is that this place is always also guaranteed raining, which I wasn't sure about the other place. Here, let me let me check for odds. Shows up ten percent of the time here. Game locations. Lush jungle. It's still a ten percent chance in rain, so it's literally the exact same percent chance, but it's less likely to be raining in Lush Jungle, so. This is genuinely the best place I got. Would you call for help? Thank you. Nobody wants to help this damn bug.
And we got another Ludian. Alright, let's kill the one on the right. Just to make sure it doesn't, you know, fall into out of uses of stuff, you know. Let's just make utter sure that you're as weak as possible. Okay. Ledian. Well, the good news is... Sabine... is now going to evolve after this. What level does Cosmog evolve again? 43. So I need 13 more levels on it. <laughs> Give me the goo. Ten percent chance of goo. Come on. I just want goo and me. Fortunately, it can't start as a draw, but you know, Alolan Muck evolves at thirty-eight, so you're six levels away now. I'm running out of bulldozes. <sighs> I don't like SOS encounters. Well, what I really don't like is SOS-only encounters. What do Leva Berries do? Ah. Yeah. Can you not buy elixirs or anything? Not normally, huh? Weird.
I wonder if I should just give up on this. Because this is far more obnoxious than I really expected it to be, and I really don't care about SOS stuff. What games are Gudra in? Just at all. Oh, it's in Scarlet and Violet. If it's just flat out in Scarlet and Violet, then I really don't need to worry about it that hard right here, is the thing. Because if I really want it, I can get it more easily in another game. If it doesn't show up in the next, like, few moments... You know what? No, fuck it. I'm, I don't care anymore. I can get it in Scarlet and Violet if I really want to. I didn't really look at it over. We're not getting Gudra. Um, we're done here. That's you taken care of, thankfully. The best one! Alright, well that... With that having been said... Let's go get a different dragon. Where's the hole over here? Yeah, over here. I don't care. There's another thing I can get someplace else, but like, I don't think this is an SOS battle. So, it shouldn't be that bad. Honestly, I should probably focus on the Gen 7 Pokemon specifically, more than anything, because other generational Pokemon usually will show up in other things, but I can't really guarantee Gen 7 Pokemon will. So, I think once I get this, I'll try to... ...find it. Anyways, what I'm looking for... is Bagon's apparently somewhere over here. I don't really know where. Probably over here. 
Now what I actually need is a shell gun, but I can get a Bagon. Somewhere here, I'm pretty certain. It's another 10% encounter, but at the very least it's just grass. Low poke. Come on, Bagon. Give me the bacon. Only four things can appear in these grass. Young Goose, Wingle, Slowpoke, and Bagon. Is this the easiest place to find Bagon? Let me double check that. I think it could show up in other places. It can show up in Route 3 as well. But it's a 1% encounter there. Okay, yeah, no. This is why I don't understand how people can shiny hunt sometimes, because it's just so mind-numbing to me. Like, I just- I can't personally fathom it in some of these older games. Like, I understand that there are methods to help increase the odds, but it's still just so mind-numbingly, like, draining to me. I don't understand how people find it appealing. I get that people like shinies, and I get that people some have, have time to kill, but like, I don't understand why I choose this in particular. It just, to me, it comes across as like, m utterly mind-numbing. Oh my god, it's so late, holy crap. I've been streaming for so long, I don't know if I'm gonna have time to keep going for some of this stuff. I might need to rush couple other things, because, like, okay, I can't get these two.
There, there's other things that like I need to get. I don't like that I'm like wasting so much time here trying to catch a thing. There are things I need to catch. There are things I need to evolve. Oof. I'm gonna start deleting everything that I've already gotten. Cause like I don't have all all night is the thing. Especially since I still need to do my daily treadmill walking today. And the later that gets put off, the more awkward it will be. So I probably only have about an hour left max before I can like be before I kinda have to be done. So I'm gonna give this five more minutes and if I don't get Bagon by then, I'm going to give up on Bagon. Cause that's another thing I can get in another game. Really didn't think catching these... <sighs> RNG's annoying. <laughs> Cause like... In my head it's just like, this stuff shouldn't take this long, and yet here it is, taking this long. Here it is. Okay, we got Bagon. Alright. That helps. That definitely helps. Okay. It evolves at level 30. I see the time, I gotta, like, really pick up this pace. So I'm just gonna name this thing Orb and move on. So I still need a Mulga, and if I can find a Chansey, then I'm also going to SOS battle that, because that will be experience up the wazoo. Why can't I fly to Pony Plains? I thought you could fly to Pony Plains. Oh, it's not the plains that you can fly to. I think it's the meadow. So I guess let's go there, because I also need to do there for the... I need to go there for the... Nectar, anyway. Purple? What's purple? Oh. Yeah. It's the Nectar. If there's this guy who's gonna be here, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to dodge him twice easily.
Excuse me. Okay, so we got another Mankey, unfortunately. I'm just going to keep calling it Mankey, apparently. Level 32, level 19. Another Scyther. Mallow's 32. 11 levels for Mallow. That's why, I, that's why I really need to fight a Chansey. Not a Lilligant. Or Petal Lil. So you're, you're you're just not worth it. You're too you're too weak. All right, everything reloads in here, so I'm assuming that there's not another tree that has an emolga in it. So. Oh, please don't fight me. Oh my fucking god, I hate these two. I hate these two. No! You fucking bitch. I do not have a team for this. It's got Dazzling Gleam, it's just going to try to kill me otherwise. So I can't set up on this. Please keep, just keep tossing out psychic types. That'll be okay. Okay. Don't care. 
keep all moves. Well, I am at least getting a bunch of experience from this. So that's not too bad. <laughs> I was just like... Don't have Surf. Okay. And you should have Mega Alakazam, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I'm getting lots of experience from this guy. That is at least very helpful. Alright, Mega Alakazam, don't hurt me. Oh, thank god. Oh, thank god, Incinerator. I don't have another Quick Claw thing, so I just need to hope for the best. Oh my god! Yes, Quick Claw! I, I, I meant, like, I don't have a thing that's, like, ha have, has priority, but I just said Quick Claw because that was all that came to my mind, and I Quick Clawed. Alright, fuck you, Dexio. Maybe that's why I couldn't fly here. Thank you for being obnoxious. This happen happens in a different place in this game than it does in the other game, which is why it, like, threw me off. Next potion. And there's the purple nectar that I need. Can I fly to this place yet? Okay, now I can fly to Pony Meadow. Alright. So that's good. Alright. So let's go... Do the last Oricorio I need. Wherever it is, here it is. Purple Nectar, use on Ryopi. Yay, alright. So Oricorio is clear and done. Cool beans. Alright. So I think the biggest thing that I need to make sure that I do before I end, against all else, is Cosmo M, because like that's the thing that like has taken the that's going to take the most time is evolving it at level 43. So yeah, it's Pony Meadow that you can fly to. So let's see what we get from here. Chansey? Nope, just a petal. I still need... I'm still trying to find a Mulga. Although it's not the worst thing in the world if I don't get a Mulga. Alright, 
How much experience does this get me? 618. Emolga. God damn it. Thirty-five. You're at thirty-six. Ooh, you're 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 gonna evolve. Excellent. You're twenty-eight. You're thirty-seven. Cool. All right. So we're getting Garbodor. Garbador is complete. That's pretty good. Cosmome is my big worry. Cause like anything else like I can figure out, but like Cosmo M is like is legendary, it's gonna be rare to like even be able to do anything with. So it just it strikes me as like that's the thing that I need to focus on to make sure that I get. You know? Yeah, Petalils are just not worth fighting. Nope, Scyther. All right. Emolga, Emolga, Emolga. Apom? I don't need an Apom. I got plenty of these monkeys. And these probably aren't gonna, gonna give a good experience. I mean, I like Apom. It's neat. And the Pom has a really weird nose, but I... I don't know. Apom is fine, it's just I don't want an Apom right now. Chansey. 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 <sighs> the very least, if you're not gonna give me Chansey, give me... something that's worth experience.
Well, Scyther's at least worth experience. Okay, you're almost an actual orb. Emolga. 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 Okay, well, at least it's experience. You know what's really weird? When I got Mandibuzz, it had the silhouette of a Fero. Six. So that's about nine more levels. And I'm getting a lowland muck. Excellent. Who else is in my party right now? I need orb. I need orb to evolve, basically. So one more level for orb. Once I get that, I'll go capture a couple of other things. But I'm still primarily hoping for Emolga right now. Alright, or, or grew to level 30. Alright. So now I'm getting shell gone. Okay, so right now... Beware, Cosmoem, Bruxish, Drampa, Pangoro, Emolga, Frillish, Vullaby, Manectric, Graveler, and Fortress. That's the current list of what I'm going to be aiming for. Got about an hour left. So, let's go to Route 10 since two of those can be found there and need to be evolved anyway. You know what, Shellgun is a Protect user, so it feels, it feels appropriate for it to know Protect. Can you look up the percent chance of getting Drampa? Is it a really low percent chance? It's in Mount Lanakila.
I, I can look it up myself, but, like, right, since I have a limited amount of time, I am trying to, like, be a little efficient, I guess. So it's efficient for me to, like, try and do this simultaneously. You know? So I can get a Pancham here. You're not a Pancham. Alright, here's Pineco. Does it know self-destruct? Ten percent in grass? For for Drampa? When I when I looked it up, it was only in the icy cave sections. Alright, well there's Pineco. Walking grass in all areas are checked. Huh. Don't care about Firo. How unlikely is Pancham? I figured Pancham was gonna be easy to catch. It's just a it's just Pancham. And yet I'm not running into it. Maybe I'm just getting unlucky. Okay, well I'm looking this up. Pancham is 10%. Ugh. I would have thought it was higher than that. Okay, I'll give it a couple more minutes, then otherwise I'm going to give up on Pancham, because I think I can get Pancham in other games as well. What other games can I get Pancham in? Game locations. It's in Sword and Shield, so in worst case scenario, I can get it next generation. I'll keep looking a little tiny bit, but yeah, I'll probably skip out on Pancham. Twenty-eight 
20% in Route 11? Okay. Good to know. Because if especially since I'm going to need the 10% for Drampa. Like, I don't want to waste my time on one that I can get elsewhere easily. I'm sick of Ledians. Kamala's what's gonna show up here the most, it looks like. Hmm. Looking at Route 11, it looks like everything shows up 20%, pretty much. Except for Kamala. Here we go, Pan Jam, excellent. And it's level 27, so it's not even going to need too many levels to level up. I just need to make sure that I have Incineroar in my party. Heck yeah. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm gonna name it Pangry. Alright. Add to your party. Okay. The only other thing I need to evolve is Frillish. I need to get three of these, though, so how likely are they? Because all I know is that you get them from surfing. Wee! Looks like Sharpedo's drunk. I found a Finneon. Oh, there's only one Frillish. Oh, wait, no. Where, how do you get a special Frillish here? I don't understand. It just says special Pokemon. If I can get that, that'll be useful. Because that'll be... Oh. Just over here. Okay, so the frillish I need, I need one blue frillish, and then I need two, and then I need both jellicent. 
Because the only frillish I actually have is already pink. So this one's going to need to become a jellicent for sure. Then I need a blue frillish and then a blue and then a blue jellicent as well. Okay, good, because I wasn't not gonna actually going to be able to use False Swipe on that guy, I realized. Alright. So you need- you evolve at level 40. Blorb. Alright. Add to your party. Okay, so now I just need to find regular, uh, regular Frillish and Jellicent in here somewhere. Also, now that I've just found ones, like, honestly, Frillish is a pretty cool design. I don't like Jellicent too much, but, like, I actually don't think Frillish is that bad. I'm surprised I never really, like, considered it before. But yeah, it looks neat. And there's a 20% chance of Frillish. So that puts it pretty much equal to everything else here. There's a 30% chance for Tentacruel and 30% chance for Finneon. 20% chance for Felper. 20% chance for Frillish. So, so long as I can get two Frillish that are boys, that'll be fine. But I'm not super concerned, so I'll only give this about... Five minutes, I say, I guess. Maybe. I don't want to spend too much time here, especially since I already got one Jellicent. And, like, the main thing for me is getting the Pokemon at all. So, like, the different, the different gendered forms are a little less important than just getting any Jellicent. So, if I, if I come out of here just with it getting a Jellicent, then you know what? That's fine. I keep getting Finneon, though, and I don't want Finneon. What other games can you get Frillish in, I wonder? Let's find that out. While I'm going around searching. Game locations. It's in Sword and Shield, so once again... Worst case scenario, I can get it next generation. It's, honestly, it's just kind of a shame that Jellicent is not a great Pokemon design, in my opinion. I, I kind of find Gen Jellicent a little ugly. Especially the female Jellicent, which is kind of a shame. Male Jellicent is something I can, like, at least tolerate a little bit, even if it's not the most appealing to me. But female Jellicent is just like, why does it have lips? I like, I understand that it looks like a mustache, but I try to like, I try to like view it more as like a, a neck thing. You know, one of those neck kind of things that you like wrap around your neck. A boa, I guess. I kind of view it sort of similar to that, I guess. I don't know. Or at least I try to. It usually doesn't work.
Of course, the random Frillish I got is a girl. The only one I don't need because I have a girl jealous and I have a girl. I have two girl frillish basically, and one's gonna, and the one I already have is gonna become a jealousant. So I need boys. I need blue ones. I've only got about two minutes to find one or both. Nope. I think this also sucks because, like, finding wild Pokemon right now is actually really slow in when surfing. It's it's nice that it's low when surfing when you know how much you're trying to prevent yourself from catching. From, from, like, running into wild encounters while you're just doing a quick surf. But, man, when you're actually trying to find a wild encounter, like, this encounter rate is kind of obnoxiously low. I think, ideally, for things like this, it's just more so, like... You just need... In a situation like an older Pokemon game, where it's, like... You have things like this, where it's not like they're just in the overworld... Um, if Sharpedo lowers the rate, then... I'm not trying to go anywhere fast, anyway. My anecdotal evidence is saying that the encounter rate has not changed. <laughs> In fact, anecdotally, I think Lapras made it worse. <laughs> well, I got about a minute left before I'm willing to call it quits. So I'll give it one more encounter. And watch, it'll be a female Frillish again. I know it can dash, it just, I'm... I don't think it really affects how often I get encounters. Oh, hey, we got a blue frillish. Cool. And a critical captured. Just for you, I'll name it Pringles. Okay. I don't have a spot for it in my party at the moment, so I'll leave it and send it to a box. All right. Before I forget...
Let's get this dumb bear. It is now daytime. Tauros. Um... Mudsdale. I don't understand. Do I have to talk to a different person? Did I just have to get through that and now I come back in and something else happens? I am so sick of this goddamn mall. Thank you! Finally! It's an actual beware. Everybody runs away. Beware. Beware. All right, finally. Wow, that did nothing. I mean, I know that it lowered my attack. But, like... I'm s almost 40 levels higher than it. There we go. Beware has been caught. It took long enough. In commemoration of the mall, I'm naming it Halloween. Send to a box. The menace of beware has passed. 
I saved the day. I got a max potion for my troubles. Alright. We're free. We got beware. Alright. Cosmo M time or bust? I don't have Incinerator in my party. I need that when I get Pangoro. I'm gonna worry about Drampa and Bruxish last, because I'm not sure... I might have a Bruxish already from Pokemon Go before I wrote all this down. I n I'll need to check that. Because if I already have Bruxish, then I don't need to fish for it. Can I get Drampa in any other games? Let's find that out. Is it in Gen 8 or 9? It's only in Shield. Ooh, I should probably try and get it then. Because I don't have Shield. Alright. So, I'm gonna beeline for Cosmo M, because that still seems like the smartest idea is to, like, level up for Cosmo M. And then, I'll worry about Drampa after that. Okay, something's attacking me. What's it gonna be? The gumshoes, it could be worth fighting for experience. I wonder if I should try and fight a trainer. Cause like, Emolga would be nice. But, not the most necessary of things, you know? Like, I can get a Molga in other games, too. Thirty-seven. So I need six more levels for Cosmo M. Thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three. Chansey. That looked like Scyther. Okay. Grew to level 35, Moria grew to level 30, Anger grew to level 29. Okay, we're getting, we're getting, we're getting some experience. We're getting there. We're getting there. Emolga. Primate. Okay. I'm gonna reload the area. Emolga. God damn it, Apom.
Chansey. Chansey! Oh shit! We actually got Chansey! Okay, this is gonna be huge. Bag. Adrenaline orb. Oh, thank you. Alright, false swipe. And another false swipe. Alright. Now we're in business. As soon as help appears for it. Alright, we got two chances now. Malgrew to level 38, Winchang grew to level 67. Thor grew to level 36, Mora grew to level 31. Angry to level 30. Angry to level 31. <laughs> okay, so the important one is Mallow, though. We need to get it to level 43. So I'm just going to keep killing Chansey until I get it to level 43. Alright, another Chansey. Alright, Pangoro is good. Also, Pineco is good. So we need level 40 and level 43. You know what, for Bliss Man, I will learn Explosion. May not have been here, but he'll be in here in spirit. Alright, another Chansey. Help didn't appear. Okay, that'll get a little bit extra experience, which is good. <laughs> F 
level 40, so only three more levels left. A blissy of all things. Hot damn. Pretty certain I already have a blissy. Do I have a blissy? I need to check that for a second. Hold on. Pokemon that I'm missing. According to the, this list, I do already have a Blissey, so... I can just kill it. And not feel bad. Level 41. Everybody's getting experience. <laughs> Help didn't appear. I'll switch you back out just in case the help comes again. It'll get me more experience. Okay, Chansey again. Back to Incinerator. Level 42. Probably one more Chansey, and then I can kill the one on the right. It's funny that I'm doing all this effort not even to get Lunala or Cosmog or Cos or Solgaleo, but I'm just trying to get Cosmoem. <laughs> just Cosmoem. That's it. All right, let's kill both these Chansey now. So apparently they have a light screen up, so I'm going to wait for that to run out. There it is, okay. Okay, so that's not really working. Let's kill them with bulldoze then, I guess. Mal's level 43. Moria grew to level 40. That's not the right one I'm thinking of, anyway. You, you don't need to call for help again. <laughs> okay, cool. 
It knows that we're done. You know what? Went through all this effort. Nope. It didn't want to stay in the ball. Figured I'd give it the opportunity. Well, we have another chancing now. Okay, we're done with Chansey now. We're gonna have a lot of evolutions. Alright, Evolution Central. First up, the most important one, Cosmoem. We're done with him. Excellent. That was the biggest worry. So now the next biggest worry... ...is Drampa. Learn Cosmic Power. Alright. Next, we're getting Jellicent. Next is Fortress. Okay. And finally, Angoro.
Okay. Took long enough to get through all that. Alright. I do need Drampa, but I also realize there's one other Gen 7 thing that I really kind of want to try and get. And it shouldn't take long at all. But it'll just be right up here. This is not it. Rotom, I don't care. You're slowing things down. I only have like 10 minutes before I need to like genuinely call it quits. When it gets too late to continue streaming. So this is like the final mad rush for streams. I have two, maybe three Pokemon left to get. The maybe three is if w one thing shows up here beforehand. I don't care, Rotom! Because I also don't have a main neck trick, and that can show up here, so if I get- if I see a main neck trick, I'll- I'll go for it. But what I'm really here for is an Alolan Graveler, which has a 30% spawn rate. But instead, I'm getting Mud Braids. Here it is, okay. Now I just need to hope it doesn't fucking explode on me. I don't have any quick balls. Alright. I'm just gonna hope it doesn't explode. That'll have to be enough. Okay, we got the Graveler. I'll leave my neck trick in the dust. Don't have the time for it. I need to try and get Drampa. Sure. Okay. So I'm going to be abandoning pretty much everything else. I need to get Drampa. Where the heck is my other... There we go. I just want my regular team now. Alright, Drampa. Show up fast, please. I don't know what you mean by West Room. There is no West Room. This should be the icy case, so it should just be able to spawn in here. Get a Sneasel or a Glalie or something. Holy f what? It heard me coming! 
and was like, yeah, sure, I'll show up. <laughs> it's a 10% chance. And it was like, yeah. Come get me. <laughs> oh, okay, goodbye. Why the hell does this thing no fly? Come on. We're in a cave. Hold on. Let me use dust ball. Okay. Well, that's Drampa. I got four minutes. Maybe I can actually go for Bruxfish. I didn't think Drampa was going to be that quick. I think I'm going to give up on... Uh... I'm gonna give up on Emolga. I'll get it someplace else. Sometime else. I think probably the same for main Ectric. Volibi I can breed in any game that has, allows Mandibuzz to exist in it. And the Vanilla Shine would just take too long for SOS battles, so... Let's see. How difficult it is to find. a 5% chance normally and a 35% chance if I if it's a bubbling spot so I just need to find a bubbling spot Where are the fishing spots? I guess it's just this one. Oh, you can't go fishing on Sharpedo. Fascinating.
Why am I getting a cutscene? I don't care. Well, it's past nine, so if this is not a bubbling spot, then I give up. It's not even bubbling. I give up. I'm not doing this. Bruxish can go suck itself. It's the only... Uh, it and Turtonator are the only two Gen 7 Pokemon I don't have now. Bruxish because it's ugly and gross and stupid and didn't want to bubble. And Turtonator because it's not in Moon. <laughs> so. That will be it. Because I can't really keep streaming anymore. So. I am going to actually need to catch one thing for fodder. So, whatever this is, I'll catch for fodder. Gumshoes, sure. You'll be the only thing left in this game now. Come on. And then once this is done, I'll put them all into bank. I'll put all my Pokemon Moon Pokemon into bank. And then I can transfer them out. And I'm finally done with Pokemon streams for the time being. So the next stream I do... will be a prime experience. I'll tell you what. But that'll be for some time in the future. Until then... Thanks for watching... Pokemon Ultra Moon streams and Pokemon Moon Let's Play if you did that as well. Thanks for sticking around, little Kirby. Thanks to everybody for showing up for these Pokemon streams, more or less. They're not, like, completely done, because I obviously have other games I'm going to be streaming, but for the- like, this was, like, the last major one, in a sense. So, now that this one's done, there's not really going to be a whole ton other- Pokemon streams. So. Kind of a big deal that this one's done. But, yeah. Let me just make sure I have everything, like all, like the Ditto and everything are in here and all that jazz. Yep, there it is. Oh, uh, I am going to need to unfuse these two. So let me do that.
That's not the right thing. What am I doing? I'm like really mentally distracted. <laughs> All right, now we're good. All done. Saving the game. Voila. And before I quit, I'm going to save again. Before I quit, I'm just kind of randomly curious, and I'm done with all of these things. I'm just curious, how much time did I spend on all these Pokemon games, according to the activity log? A new title has been added. Pokemon Black 2, I haven't touched this since then, okay. Alright, ranking... Alright. Ultra Moon is now my third most played game. Wow. So I spent 92 hours in two playthroughs of Ultra Moon, 78 in Black version, 68 in Regular Moon. It's kind of fascinating to me how much of a difference in time there was between Regular Moon and Ultra Moon. Uh, y was 65 hours. Most of that was spent back in 2013. Crystal took me 47 hours? Wow. That's a long time for just Crystal, because that was just the Let's Play. Uh, Soul Silver was just a personal playthrough, so that took me 46 hours? Wow. Omega Ruby, for its two different playthroughs, took me less time than Soul Silver. That was include that's including the original playthrough and and the stream. Pokemon Pearl was a personal playthrough and took me 41 hours. Pokemon Black 2 took me 37 hours total for just the Let's Play. Pokemon Platinum for the Let's Play took me 32 hours. Heart Gold for the stream took me 27 hours. Pokemon Blue for my Let's Play in 2017 took me 23 hours. Uh, and that's probably the only other Pokemon game. Yeah. I spent 13 hours in Hey Pikmin. Those are 13 hours of my life I'm never fucking getting back. Yep. And here's Scribble Knots. <laughs> never, never gets old. Okay. Well, I always loved this little thing. Almost a hundred hours in Pokemon Ultra Moon. Yeah, I don't know. It just it's it's, it's scribble knots. I put scribble knots in my D in my 3DS, <laughs> and it, that's how it popped up. Don't ask. I don't have an answer. But yeah, uh, I gotta go walk on the treadmill before people show up, close off that avenue for me. So, see you guys in the next stream whenever that happens. Goodbye. Thanks for stopping by.